Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're gonna check out the Kenny 100, sorry, Kenny K100 12 by 12 and we're gonna go rescue that Ram, or sorry, Chevy Silverado uh, 3500. It's stuck and it just drags. So instead of recovering, we're gonna do our mod review of the Kenny to go and grab it, put it on this uh, slider bed. As long as it'll fit, hopefully. But you know what to do, guys. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you drop a sub on the channel. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, guys. Time to customize up the Kenny K100 12x12. This looks like an absolute beast. I think this is what we need to rescue that 3500. So we've got standard upgrade, upgrade V2, and extreme for engine options. Um, I think what we're going to go with, it says OP engine. Do not use if you want a real balanced truck. We're going to go with the upgrade V2. Balanced, high range, or off-road for transmissions. Of course, we're going to go with the off-road. Suspension, we got default, high, and ultimate. We're going to go with the ultimate. Tires, uh, we got mud tires and chained. We're also, we got 46 Sahara 2, 50 Sahara 2, 46 bon Boinaya tire, 50 Boinaya tire, 46 mud tire and 50 mud tire. We're going to go with the 50 mud tire. Actually, you know what? We're going to use the Boinaya tire. This mod developer has done some amazing work. We're going to take the extreme offline, service rack, a snorkel, and frame add-ons. we got log carrier, big canteen, or sorry, big canteen, cargo logs, medium, crane, loader crane, all kinds of stuff here as options. We could take the slider three bed slot. All right, let's remove this and take the slider three bed slot. This is a recovery vehicle. I think that would be cool. Now I wonder if we have to get rid of our service rack to make this look normal. It almost looks like it's conflicting and I can't tell if it is or isn't. So we're just gonna remove it for now. Rooftop, top trap. Factory beacons, front bumper, deer destroyer, love it. Front side stock sun visor, love it. Mud rim, all kinds of color choices, guys. We're going to go with the red and black pattern. I love it. All right, let's pull it out. Let's see if we can grab that 3500 and bring it back to base. All righty. So first things first, we're going to start up the engine. The gauges don't work. The interior looks really nice, though. It is done. It's, it's kind of lower detail. The mirrors don't work, but that's okay. Not everyone uses mirrors. It's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and just set our waypoints. It's pretty clear where we kind of gotta go and uh, try to rescue up the Silver Auto 3500. Use forklift. Woo! So with a long wheelbase and having this slider three slot cargo attachment, I did have some concerns, okay? My concerns were that it would just cause problems, but it seems to have the right amount of suspension play and everything else that you kind of want to have. It really, it doesn't seem to be compromising anything at all. It just going over these bumps, it seems pretty stable, really. Now we'll see what happens as we go down this hill. This will be the real test. So the windshield has like a dirty pattern on it. It's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. So I think that's one of the cool things about the 12x12 and this long wheelbase is that no matter what kind of an angle you're on, I don't think you're going to be like stuck or, or even really high centered because you, you got to wheel at every point of this cab almost it seems. Woo. 
this is a uh, really nose dive in here to the extreme to the point that we're actually almost plowing these rocks up all right let's kick it in a little and we just powered through like that that is crazy this is some really deep mud even for this I'm, I'm kind of finding now so rather than just take it back to the garage if we can load this up guys I think what we're gonna do is continue on it and go up to that repair station it is kind of good to see now how easy this is sinking as well that's uh, kind of a relief all right so slider bed let's go backwards and let's go down okay and so now we got to use the winch let's uh, change trucks okay let's see if we can drive this up onto it And just like that, guys, now we can go ahead and pack the truck and start moving the uh, slider bed back. And that's all in a day's work. That's it. The slider bed works really good out of the box. It, it runs the way you kind of need it to or expect it to. It, it just it, it makes sense. This is uh, this is incredible. I'm really, really happy with this. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's set the waypoints again, and let's see if we can trek all the way up there with the Kenny K100 12 by 12, fully loaded, mind you, with this 3500. And I, I think we'll make it. I really do. I didn't choose the OP engine, guys. The tires had OP in them, but not the engine. So far, I'm really enjoying this. There's other flatbeds that are in the game, and I don't find any of them to be quite like this one, honestly. This just seemed to work really smooth out of the gate. I was very, very impressed. The 3500 seems pretty stable, even for the bumps and everything. All this mud is super deep, you can tell, because the, the Kenny is just digging in it. It really is. This is a wide wheelbase, or a long wheelbase, so I do have to keep that in mind, make sure I'm cutting my turns the way I need to. And this is relatively a thin trail to begin with. That's the other side of this. Obviously, turn and radius isn't going to be fantastic as a 12x12, 12 12, but it's not horrible either. The fact that we're able to climb a, uh, a mountain like this incredible if we can keep the 3500 on throughout the entire process that'll be also incredible you can tell it's struggling here this kind of a grade or an incline but it doesn't seem crazy we do have to back up just a little bit all right so now we can start to drive again and i don't know exactly how we're going to do this we're going to hop this rock a tiny bit hop the side of the mountain because we do have to cut around here for this trail it appears there's some rocks here that we have to fight as well. So let's uh, let's put up our best show here. Let's. There we go. Now we can cut it nice and wide. We should be able to make it out of this. No. Okay, I got some ideas here. I got some ideas. the winch trying to winch that tiny bit that is that is crazy we're squeezing through now 
This honestly just might be a little bit too much of a wide wheelbase. We got the diff lock on. We got some tires spinning, some tires grabbing traction. We're not high. Like I said, I don't think this is a truck you can high center, but we are in a pickle when half of our tires are stuck in a position that they can't turn. So we're going to have to rely on the winch here just a little bit. Let's see if we can just be able to winch with this thing uh, for this little push that we need. Doesn't seem unreasonable at all. Especially considering the rocks and the degree that we're on, even being able to winch is kind of a luxury um, with this long wheelbase and having cargo on top. Back in the water, that's okay too. That's to be expected, but this this Kenny is doing good. It really truly is. So we had to cut this a little bit straight so we could try to swing in wide here. There we go. And we still didn't lose the truck even on an angle like that. That is incredible. I can't believe we're still hauling cargo now. I'm like, I'm just going extra here to do things that should make this truck fall off or get this truck stuck. If we have such a long wheelbase, we kind of have to go a little extra with it and nothing. Nothing, it's still just cruising through the way it needs to. Last little winch here for this hill. This is quite an angle to have to climb up. Obviously our turning axles didn't even have traction there at all. But lo and behold, here we are. We made it to the base. The service or the repair station. This is incredible guys. 10 out of 10. I recommend you check out this truck. Make sure you drop a like on the video and a sub on the channel guys. We'll catch you with the next one.